Hi, I'm Yacht Chef Sandy. Welcome back to my galley. Today we are preparing a stuffed mushroom appetizer followed by a swordfish that's going to be beautifully pan seared, followed by a Cajun mashed potato on the side. We'll start quickly here with our stuffed mushrooms. And to put these together, we're going to be grabbing a little bit of cream cheese. This is about two ounces of cream cheese. We're going to add in a little bit of Italian sausage. I've already cooked this Italian sausage. Um, when you cook the Italian sausage, just you want to make sure to kind of chop it up in the pan. And that's probably the most uh, difficult part of that process because you want the pieces to be pretty small because we're going to be stuffing them into these mushroom caps. So let your cream cheese come to room temperature. Put your sausage in. We'll just give that a good mix. And then we're going to be adding a couple of green onions. Now, I actually got this recipe from my stepmother-in-law, Jan. So thanks, Jan. <laughs> we had this when we were together. I think it might have been a Christmas holiday a few years back, and I just really love them. When you cook the mushrooms in the oven, the mushrooms themselves get a little bit crunchy uh, on top, and it's, they're just delicious. So once we have that very simple mix made, we'll just take that and we'll spoon that into these mushroom caps. These are just white mushrooms. We've cleaned them off of any, any impurities that might have been on. We've removed the stem, and then we'll just put this mixture into the mushroom. We'll put it in the oven at 375 for about 10, 15 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna start on our swordfish. I have marinated this already in a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper and Italian seasoning. And I'm going to cut it, but I wanted to show it to you first because I think you can see how the, the flesh is darker right here. And so we really don't wanna cook that. We wanna go ahead and cut that off. And I just left it on so I could show it to you and say like when you buy a cut of fish like this, you just, that's the bloodline and you really kind of don't want um, that darker piece there. So we'll just trim that off. There we go, that's beautiful. I'm going to cut this into two big, nice fillets. I like to leave the skin on. I don't eat the skin, but I just, I like to leave it on. I think it's pretty. So I'll just be taking this and I have my pan preheating back here of the little flavor neutral oil. And I'll sear these probably three or four minutes on each side and then um, that'll cook up real quickly. Experience the wonder of a holiday at sea in the Virgin Islands or New England on your very own private yacht. You'll experience a fantasy-filled week of white sand beaches, amazing sunsets, gourmet meals, and the best time you can possibly imagine. Make memories with your friends and family that you will never forget. Email us at info at sailthedream.com or visit www.sailthedream.com for more details. Have you ever said, I'll take that dream vacation someday? Well, at Cool Cat Charters, someday is now. We offer all-inclusive private yacht charters at every price point for the more budget-minded traveler up to a full luxury experience. Come celebrate your special occasion or just schedule a family getaway in the gorgeous Caribbean islands. Sail the beautiful islands of the Caribbean and see why so many people just can't get enough. Visit CoolCatCharters.com to see a listing of our featured yachts or contact us to learn more about the many other sailing and motor yachts available for charter in the islands. Our swordfish is ready to go on the flame. My pan is nice and hot, so I'll just put these in the pan. This is a grill pan. It has raised uh, little strips inside, so we should get some nice grill marks on these steaks. Oh, listen to that. Okay, three to four minutes on each side, we'll be good to go. While our swordfish is finishing, we're going to make a lemon herb chimichurri. Um, so this has parsley, cilantro, lemon juice, and the secret ingredient here is a little bit of preserved lemon. So preserved lemon is something I discovered when I traveled to Israel. And basically what it is is just a lemon that they slice thin and then soak that lemon in more lemon juice and salt. There are other ways to preserve a lemon, but that's my favorite. So this is super bright, super lemony. I love it. I love citrus forward things. So if you don't like that real citrus hit, then I would suggest maybe just going with lemon juice. But today we're going to use a preserved lemon. And so we're just going to add, this is just a very small piece, uh, maybe a teaspoon or so, um, with a little bit of chopped parsley, 
let's do probably a quarter cup of chopped parsley. And if you have stems in there, that's fine. This is all going to be processed in the food processor and there's no point in that going to waste. Then a uh, little bit of cilantro as well. And you can add mint if you have it. You can really do whatever you like. Putting a little bit of olive oil in here. And then our sel de fleur, our sponsor salt. Thank you again. We'll add some of this into our mix. And we'll just give that a little bit of a blitz in the food processor. And this will come out and be beautiful and be beautiful on the plate. All right, I'm gonna add just a touch more olive oil. Oh yes. And some lemon juice while I'm at it. There we go. All right. We'll give that one more spin. All right, we'll be back to plate once we finish up with our mashed potatoes. All right, we're finishing up our mashed potatoes. These are actually smashed potatoes, and the reason I say that is because they're not really mashed um, thoroughly like you would have with a mashed potato. So I have two potatoes peeled and boiled um, in large chunks. Now I'm adding uh, two tablespoons of sour cream and a teaspoon of Creole seasoning. All right, and then we'll just blend that together. And I also um, already sauteed some onions. I got them nice and caramelized. They're gorgeous and add a little bit of garlic. And so that will go in as well. This is my friend Dave's recipe. So thanks Dave for the Cajun smashed potato recipe. These are so delicious. They go beautifully with the swordfish. And we're just gonna mix these around until it's incorporated. Like I said, you know, we're not looking to mash these up, but just kind of, you know, incorporate everything together and smash them up a little bit, and beat them up. Then I'll just be finishing this with a, just a little pinch of sel de fleur. Thanks again to our sponsor for today for providing this beautiful salt. I'm only doing two potatoes, so that's probably about maybe an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And after we finish this, we will be ready to plate. All right, so all of our components are finished and we are ready to plate. We have this beautiful chimichurri. And again, this is really bright, lemony, herby. I love it. I'm just gonna plate it actually underneath the fish. And that way you can kind of pick up as much as you like when you have the fish. Um, so I'm just gonna put a little spread of that right there. I'm going to actually do my mashed potatoes next. And I'm just gonna put a nice little pile of them on this side. They're beautiful with those onions. They're just so beautiful and caramelized. They came out beautiful and brown. And then I will take my swordfish and kind of just put it right on top of that gorgeous chimichurri. I have also a little bit of uh, blistered tomatoes here and some rosemary just to finish out the dish with all those beautiful colors. Delicious, healthy meal, and it's fresh from the sea. All right, so we finished up our swordfish. We're serving it over a lemon herb chimichurri with some blistered tomatoes and rosemary and Dave's Cajun mashed potatoes. We also have our stuffed mushrooms on the side here, recipe courtesy of Jan. We really appreciate having you here with us today. Thanks again to the sponsors of our episode, Salt Sel de Fleur. And please follow me on the internet at yachtchefsandy.com, also at sailthedream.com, and on Facebook at yachtchefsandy.